Hey guys, we're playing another game today. It's called Inscription. If you haven't heard of it before, we're playing the roguelike uh, version, Casey's mod instead of the campaign. Yep. Mostly cause... should be uh, should be pretty fun. Yeah, mostly because uh, we we've, we've already both played the camp. Well, I played the campaign. Derek didn't care, so we wouldn't be surprised by anything in it really. Uh, yep. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking turns picking cards and things like that. So do you want so to pick going... the starter deck or do you want me to pick the starter deck? I would really like to do an ant starter deck. I don't know about you. Well, that's not fair because that doesn't help at all because that's the one I was going to pick too. Well, then we agree. Isn't that a good thing? I suppose. We will be playing without any challenges since I haven't played this game in like eight months. Fair enough. Challenge points requirement for challenge levels not met. You will not advance to a higher challenge level or unlock stuff if you pass this run. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes. So, hopefully everybody already knows what inscription is. But uh, it's kind of a, a darker themed card game, essentially. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Oh, what? You... We don't get a choice. I don't remember what the icons mean anymore. Oh, it's a shop. Oh, right. I see. Because they because they give you a pelt and then they let you trade it away right away. Uh, I guess I'll count the first, like, the starter deck pick is mine, and let you pick what we buy with the pelt. Uh... Oh, I should mention the fecundity strategies have been nerfed. Oh, fecundity has been nerfed. Well, let's, uh... Do we already have air attacks? We have a flying ant, yes. Alright, let's go with tentacles, then. Uh, that's the one that does damage equal to the number of cards in your hand, right? I believe so, yeah. Not that we can check, because the guide is blotched out for the tentacle cards. <clears throat> now, I'm thinking we could get straight into a totem battle. That's not even a battle, that's just a totem piece. Oh, that is just a piece? Yeah, that's just a piece. Ah. Well... We can always take a totem piece. Mm -hmm. If we're lucky, we'll get, like, an ant totem head at some point. So we're going to take the base, obviously. That's right. Bees. Bees. Bee ants. <laughs> that would be pretty great. We will fill our ants with bees. Yes. Okay. So, Derek, would you care to explain the basics of inscription to our viewers? All right. So up at the very top there, if Kalen, you would, uh, let's start with the battle mat. So if you'd go up one so that we can see. All right. So everybody sees those kind of like gray blue squares there. They might be white. It's hard to tell over screen share. Uh, but they have arrows on them. That shows you what's going to come in the next turn. So we can see that he's going to play a porcupine and a coyote. So we need to play something in kind to block those two. Now, the problem with the porcupine is that it damages when attacks. Yeah, get out of here, spider. Yeah. And then the problem with the coyote is that it has a lot of power. Now, the thing is, unlike uh, our friend here, who is a dirty <coughs> cheater, we have to spend resources to play cards. Yep. So what we're going to do, if you're wondering how we get the resources, it's really simple. We play the innocent woodland squirrel. Okay. And then we play the skunk where we the... viciously uh, murder the squirrel. Where the coyote is. Oh, no, I, I wasn't going to block the coyote because it killed the skunk. I was a bit of a misplay. Who cares? Who cares? First fight. Uh, we don't have anything else we can play right now, so go. Yeah, and uh, how you win is measured in teeth. It's pretty gross. Should we get a squirrel or a card, do you think, right now? Uh, squirrel, squirrel in a bottle, ant queen. Squirrel, squirrel in a bottle, ant queen? 
Yeah. We started with a fish hook. Which is pretty good. Do we want to play Ant Queen into Coyote? Because, like... Oh, no, it'll just kill it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it'll be good. Now, the fun thing about ants is they do damage equal to the number of ant cards you have on the field. Uh, so, which means yep. next turn, once we get another squirrel, we can play a worker ant, and the ant queen and the worker ant get stronger. And on top of that, yeah, the reason why we got that worker ant is because the ant queen gives us a free ant when we play it. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting strategy. I love ants. They're so fun. They are very fun, especially if we can get the ant head. Yeah, to make the totem effect supply. Ooh. Flying ant. Oh boy. Hey, who needs a skunk? Let, let she, I want, I want money. Give me overkill. Are we go? Because your overkill damage is converted into money. Okay, so here's our options, right? We can either take a random card, like where we see a few cards and pick the one we like. Uh, pick a card only based off, or pick a card only based off its family. And if we go this route, we'll get an altar, which is sacrifice a card to power up another one with its sigil, or a campfire where we boost a card's power. I'm thinking we go to the left because one, we might just get a guaranteed end card, and two, we don't have enough things to throw away at this yet. True. It'd be really nice to put the skunk's mm -hmm. sigil on the queen ant, but at the same time, we don't have a big enough deck to justify. Yep, so let's grab. Let's see if we can get a guaranteed ant card. We still do have a real... We got guaranteed ant. <laughs> That's a beehive, not an ant. We've been lied to. Well, well, I mean, still, there's bees inside of it. Hey, bees are pretty good, too. All right, let's see. Is this an HP or an attack campfire? It's a two HP campfire. Okay. All right. So now the thing about campfires is that if you get too greedy, they will eat your card. Basically, uh, the, the biggest thing to know is if they offer to let you stay longer for more stats, never believe them ever. The only time it's good is if you have like, I forget what, I think it's like a ringworm or something like that. Like one of the tapeworm type guys, if they eat that, all of these dudes die and they can never interrupt you again. Yep. All right, so... Our queen ant already has three HP. I'm thinking we want our flying ant to have more HP. Uh, or the beehive. Well, isn't the whole point of the beehive to die? Every time it it takes damage, it creates a bee. Oh, then yeah, let's do the beehive. Also, it'd be kind of weird if they wanted to eat the bees. Uh, no, I'll I'll pull away actually. I, th I think we could have pushed our luck one more time. But I didn't want to. It's it's a beehive. It's full of honey. Okay. We could really go either way here. Because, like, if we take the regular fight, you know, we get a family card and then go into totem. But if we take the totem fight, we get random card and go into totem. But like, Let, we let's do a totem fight. Let's show, let's show him a totem fight. Okay. Our oh. That's that's a pretty nasty combo. That is a pretty nasty combo. Uh, guardian, when opposing creatures placed opposite to an empty spade, a card bearing the sigil will move to it. Okay, well, it's not that bad because it means that it'll just dive in and die. Yep. <clears throat> All right. I'm thinking we do the same opener we did before, where we just pin up the porcupine with the skunk. Because the coyote, it's just going to dive in and die as soon as we place a card that does damage. True, true. Oh, wait, hang on. Alternatively... We could beehive. We could beehive into porcupine, which would still stall it for four turns, but we'd be getting bees. Yeah, let's do that. Bees. Not the bees! Ah! <laughs> Also, bees are free. Yep. Isn't that fun? Which means that we can uh, queen ant into... Uh... Yeah, we can queen ant right into the... Uh, the no, no. Queen, queen ant to the left of beehive to block porcupine. Well, no, because coyote will jump. Oh, I see what you mean. Now. 
Yeah, there we go. Get pranked. More bees. Hey, look. And a flying bees. ant. So, anyways, we went for overkill damage. And we win. Never mind. Just about. Almost one, not quite. Just play the skunk down. Just for the record, your porcupine sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we did a totem. Totems are totems are really cool. Yeah, in it's interesting. It's difficult. Interesting. All right, let's see. Corpse maggots. Oh, oh corpse tons. maggots. Ooh, but alpha is also really good. Corpse yeah, but... eater. If a creature you own purchase in combat, the card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. I, I don't think corpse. Its effect is decent, but as a card itself, it's really bad. The alpha is good yeah. for both. You grab Corpse Maggot specifically to put its sigil on another card, basically. Uh, that's kind of why you grab Alpha, too, though, because look at the bone cost on Alpha. It's also high. True. I guess it really depends. Uh, I, I've made the last picks your pick this time. Down in the comments, tell us which you would have picked. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Alpha, personally. That's fair. Come on, Ant Totem. Ant Totem Head. It would be so funny. Ant Totem Head. What's no. that? I mean, we got we got Broods, Parasite Base, Snake Head, and Wolf Head. The only way Wolf Head even works is with the Alpha, and that's way too many bones. So I I think we just grab Brood Parasite Body. Because we, we don't like, have any do snakes. We like, do we like that more than bees, though? Because we wouldn't get, we wouldn't be able to keep the bee totem if we did that. Yeah, just grab the wolf head, just in That's case we I'm end thinking. up playing it. I mean, because the bee effect is really solid. Yeah, it just means that we'll be getting more sacrifices. Mm -hmm. All right, another totem battle. What is that effect? Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. Rampager, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bringing the sigil will move in the direction described in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be thrown back behind it. Ooh, and the cub. Those are nasty if you don't get them right away. Tentacles, and then we'll do two damage. I don't know if it's gonna uh, move right away, if it's gonna move and attack right away, or if it's gonna attack and then move. Well, worst comes to worst, we still come out of it on top with damage if you put it right there. Where on the left or right, do you think? Uh, to the right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. That was definitely the correct play. Yep. Do we draw a squirrel or a card here, do you think? Uh, let's go squirrel, because then we can get flying ant down. It'll only do one damage, but it's still guaranteed. Yeah. Where do we want it, you think? I'm thinking the far right, because the wolf is going to be dead and this dude's going left so our ant doesn't die. Yeah. We also have enough bones to play possum if we want to. Uh. Uh, it's, an extra, it's, well. it's an extra yeah. damage, and if we keep it out of harm's way, we can sack it for something else in a minute. True, oh, might wait, as well. I just remove the damage on the tentacle. Yeah, that, that's kind of sucked. Bit of a misplay. We, 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 a little bit forgot. It's just going to have to be a sit and uh, wait for, if wait by for that squirrel. You mean sit and win the game. Oh, that too. No overkill, but no overkill. win the game. Family's better than blood cost for this. Yeah. And we... Insects. Maybe an ant. Maybe, maybe an, an ant. ant. You agree for insects, then? Yes. Yes, maybe an ant. Corpse maggots. I'll take it. I'll take it. You Corpse maggots. What, you got what you wanted. All right. Items. 
Prospector battle is probably going to be a little rough. We got a boulder, we got a fan, and we have pliers. Uh, double pliers just for the boss fight because this is going to be really rough. Unless we get ant head totem right now. Yeah. We did not get ant head totem. We did, however, get loose tail base. Which is pretty good and flying base, so all of our stuff could be flying. Which do you think is better? I think flying overall is just going to be better. Yeah. Yeah. We're not very well stacked for the first boss at all. Which is kind of what, because those, both of those players will give us uh, extra teeth. But I would have liked to have literally any build synergy going on. Yeah, we just kind of got really unlucky here. Mm -hmm. We just got to make sure to kill that pack mule is the main thing. Yeah, the pack mule needs to die. So uh, that means that what we're going to have to do is beehive right there and try to get a bee out. And then the next turn we'll draw a regular card and hope to get something good. Yeah. That's ah, not what I would have wanted. No, it's not really what I would have wanted either, but... It's kind of one of those you take what you can get sort of things, I suppose. Yeah. We still got one more turn. Of bees. Flying Alpha. We don't have the bones unless we sack the smoke to generate something. Uh, no, 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 no. We have three sack bones. You need B, sack, sack B into Flying Ant, and then you also get Alpha. No, because a B doesn't generate bones when it gets killed the way. Ah, uh, dang. Or does it? I don't know. We're just going to do the smoke. All right, the question is, you know, I think we put flying ant here just so it doesn't just die to coyote. Yeah, but then we can't kill the pack mule. Unless we, we stack flying ant. That's what we're going to have to do. Just not a good start in general. No, this is going to be rough. Oh, lovely. Corpse man. That's exactly what we needed, right? Play a possum just to kill Coyote. No, no, Attack no. a possum to hit Act Mule for more damage. Well, no, because as soon as we do that, the corpse maggots will leap in. Oh, true. Some heck, it's very cool. Gold nuggets. We have to take Squirtle to replace dead cards. Yeah, we do. At the very least, we have corpse maggots. It's not a lot, but it's something. Okay, there's Ant Queen. But we don't have any other ants, so I mean, it'll just be when we play Ant Queen. Um, okay. if you sack corpse maggots for... Well, if we sack the corpse maggots for the worker ant after we spawn the ant queen. Yeah. So you meet bee squirrel ant queen. Ant queen can kill coyote. Sack corpse maggots for worker ant. There we go. This is going to just be rough. Mm -hmm. And no reason to even play Tentacle this turn, because it'll just die after doing nothing. Yep. I'd rather just eat the two damage from the Bloodhound. 
And then we're gonna get pack mule. Still no reason yet. No, I gotta block the bloodhound damage now, otherwise we'll lose too much momentum. Sure. Well, it actually would have just stalemated us. Oh, we got another, another ant, ant queen. queen. I'll take another ant queen. Right. Oh, wow, that's five damage. We're gonna have so much overkill with that. Too bad there's no way to get another ant in there right now. Uh, no, sack, sack squirrel into skunk, and then that adder won't be able to do anything. We're winning this turn. I'm thinking of how to do the most overkill damage. Uh, I, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Sack squirrel, squirrel, and, squirrel and worker, and worker ant, 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 ant queen. queen. Place a squirrel, place a new worker ant. Yep. It's gonna make us do slightly more than. Actually, I think it's the same because it was nine before and it's nine now. Whatever. We still got seven overkill. Damage. We still got overkill damage, boys and girls. See, that actually is... was not as bad as Prospector can be sometimes. Yeah, sometimes Prospector just sucks, especially when you don't have a good thing going. It's part of why Ants is one of the best starter decks. Mantis. Ouroboros? Doesn't, no, Ouroboros isn't worth it in, uh, in Casey's mod because its buffs don't last between runs. Well, then obviously it's Mantis God. Yeah, it's, it's really no question. Even if you don't use Mantis God, it has one of the best abilities you can transfer. Yeah, we can put that on a Queen Anne. Mm. I think we have to take left just to try to hit Totem. Just... We, we need to get that ant head. Yeah. We need it bad. So badly. Static card? I, I mean, I don't know what it is. Let me see if I can check our deck. Why is he even letting us get up? We can't do any of the puzzles. <laughs> And head, and, and head. head, and head. That is not an ant. Guardian head. body. I guess. We're never going to use birds or deer. Not the best of luck so far. No, really not. But my colleges, though, we're going to have to take. Do we even have two copies of any one card right now? Actually, no, now that I think about it, we don't. Mantis could right there. No. Nope. Or beehive. It'll, it'll just die. Fair enough. Now we. Normal card. Hopefully, we can get it like an ant. Or that. That works, too. Mm -hmm. It's not horrible. We might as well kill one of the elk fawns. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to start taking ground back, like, right now. A little bit. Oh, it's Magpie. To be fair, Magpie's Sigil is one of the best in the game, but it really was. Do you want Magpie or... Well, actually, I think the static card just changes every fight is how that works. Eh, fair enough. Uh, uh... I think we know, because if we place anything, it's just going to get killed by this damage. I think we legitimately just take the two damage from the Elk because we're gaining four. True. I mean... Yeah. By just waiting, we're being put in a better position. Alpha with bees inside. Hey, guess what we're going to do? Not wait and see, because then the elk fawn is going to slap our guy. Well, no, because then corpse maggots trigger. It's fine. We just... Actually, no, that's six damage. If we do any... No, because we'll do less once we... Whatever. 
It's fine. We're fine. It's okay. Ain't we? Mm -hmm. We have we have two bees. We have all of the bees. Ain't we? And then worker ant to slap the elk on. And then alpha to boost corpse maggots. There's no reason to do that, really. I guess. Well, no, because then corpse maggots kill porcupine. That is worth it. Awesome kills porcupine. Yeah. Well, that's game, anyways. We win. Yay. We yes, literally we can't take, take my ecologist unless we get a copy here. We did not. Dire Wolf Sigil is really good. Hitting the same place twice is really strong. Yeah, we might as well. Very rarely will we ever have a, a anything to actually sack to do a Dire Wolf, but, right. you know, it's there. No, Extra health on the beehive. Really hoping for attack. No, I don't think we touch the beehive again. I think we need health on something else that we actually use. Tentacles. Yeah, health on tentacles. No, I will not try my luck with Tentacle. It's one of our only good cards. That is very true. We are we are just scraping by right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, it, it, the, the glitch card became Bell Tentacle. That's attack stat is equal to the number of turns that have passed. That's pretty cool. Moles are annoying, though. Yes, but the mole men are even more annoying. This is this is rough. A little bit. Not the biggest fan of this opener. Just a neutral opener. Awesome. Can't even. All we're doing is just hoping we get through the defense fast enough at this point. Can we even last? And I don't think we can take three damage, can we? I think I think you're gonna have to either. I think you're gonna have to play squirrel to take damage or hook the elk. It sucks to use the hook this early, but I we just can't. Yeah. It would suck more to not get the smoke for next boss fight. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh. Squirrel sack elf into direwolf. Uh, I, 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 I think you mean hit the end turn button. Yeah, but it could have been even more overkill. No, because the tentacle would have lost power. All Fair right. enough. Here we go. Trial of Bones. We're not going to pass Trial of Bones unless we draw our corpse maggots. Trial of Power. On an ant deck, that's funny. Trial of Kin. It's either going to be Bones or Kin, because Bones is basically going to be draw corpse maggot or fail, and then Trial of Kin is going to be draw two bugs or fail. Which do you think is more likely? We we have more bugs overall. I think we're going to have to go for that. Thank you, man. Very cool. Can we please have the ant totem now? <laughs> Please, please, ant totem, so that they're hey! totem with the bees inside. Double bucks, double bucks. All right, now we just look for a better base than than bees. Okay, we have an altar guaranteed coming up here, which is good. It is very good. 
Oh, that's rough. Yeah, it's stinky birds. Flying ant with the bees. Honestly, the mole is a non-issue with flying ants. Yeah, squirrel, flying ant. Is there even a point in drawing a squirrel when we don't have anything we can play? Not really, no. Unless you... I'll take a river snapper. Yeah, it's usable. Hey, doesn't item pack refill your item back? Like, it lets you pick till you're full? I think so. What? So as long as as long as it prevents us from losing, there's literally no reason not to just use the flyers. Yeah, basically. I, I'd rather have better items. So let's just flyers. All right, guys, you can see what the flyers do. Oh, hey, I got an achievement. You want to know what my achievement yeah, was? Pull for? our own teeth out. What's that? Uh, for pulling your own teeth out 32 times in Casey's mod. No more teeth left. Mm -hmm. If you pull a squirrel, we could river snapper, but there's no real point. I'm pulling a squirrel because we need a squirrel no matter what anyways. And we're just going to have to eat that damage. Oh, this is going to suck. I think we might be dead. Be Mantis God! Prepare to be annihilated, but I'm Tiss. Mantis God doing zero damage because stinky birds, but, you know, it blocks. No, it doesn't. It'll do some damage. No, it won't. It'll do nothing. We've, we've lost. Well, I guess that just means no smoke for the, for the boss fight. Oh, don't worry, we got a bee, though. A bee that creates a bee when it dies! Yeah, but we lost. I know, but don't you get it? The bees make bees! That is... Do you understand you know what, what yeah, that means? Yeah, I'm understanding that, yeah. I don't want any of these. No, i I just clover it. Oh, thanks for reminding us when we passed by mycologists. Well, not I'll that my take the queen ant, not though. that mycologists we, we, are as good on the ants. To be fair, I think we need the items. Yeah, we already have the ant head. Scissors, definitely scissors. Yeah. The frozen opossum. Yeah. And another scissors. All right, that was good. Yeah, going into boss fight with that, that'll be really good. Okay, and now we sack. Okay, which one is the one that gets it and which one is the one that dies? The one on the bottom is the sack. Okay. So what are, what ability are we giving away? I'm uh, either, either alpha or dire wolf's ability. If we put... Direwolf's ability on a queen ant, that could be pretty cool. I agree. Would have been really funny if it just was the other way around and we were wrong. It's like, silly, silly player, don't you know the bloody part is the one that the card that survives goes on? Okay, now the trapper. I do not have good memories of the trapper. Well, that's because the trapper really sucks. Frickin... I hate this. Yeah. Really? He's not pulling any punches with, the, with this opener, is he? Honestly... We beehive. We just beehive to block one of them. Yeah. Beehive and then get the bees rolling. The one thing I do remember about this fight that I liked was the music. It is pretty good music. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. We go for a regular card. Yeah. Another 
river snapper. The problem with the strange frogs, by the way, is they turn into a leaping trap when they die, and what the leaping trap does is it blocks flyers, so you have to hit it with everything, and then it just kills whatever kills it. Yeah, they're they're rough. Real rough. The scissors are gonna be our best friends once we have our thing rolling. Mm-hmm. Though it is a lot safer to use bees that make bees, to be fair, to remove them. Yeah, why don't we just use our bees that make bees to block damage? Yeah, we'll just get them back. Right? Oh no, the bee! Which made a bee! Hey, where's my bee? Okay, there's the bee. I was gonna say, hey! That's that's a wolf pelt! And it's free bones, too. Hey, I think we actually just found an infinite. We might have. Uh, yeah, I think we just found an infinite. It happens occasionally. That's the whole point of the game. Yeah, go ahead, kill the beehives. Kill the bees, they're just going to respawn. Free bees, everybody. Ah, not the bees! You just kind of have to play a little slow in the clear trapper. Hey, oh, that turned into a dire wolf. Okay, so the dire wolf is going to have to die, which means tentacles need to go where dire wolf is, or scissors. Man, you're, you were right, though. A you know, tentacle would just didn't delete it, you're right. Because of how big our hand is at this point. Yeah. Nine. And then we just re be the space here. And we're good. Yeah. Because I'll let the no rabbit that doesn't. Block that I'll, rabbit. Yeah, I'll let the rabbit that doesn't do anything just chill. It'd be really funny yeah. to use the alpha to make the pros and possum do damage though. It would be. It would be a waste though. Yeah. And then the then the pierce through damage, the trample damage, just got the. Okay, I think we're definitely ready to make things happen here pretty soon. Oh, I just realized we're just gonna. We're just gonna win. Yeah, might as well hold on to our stacked hand until phase two. Yeah. Oh no, the infinite bees. <laughs> Oh, that was, that's really strong. If he doesn't play to block. All right, and then we can use the pelts we got to trade for his creatures. Grab an ant. Obviously. Toxic river snapper. We're gonna take the, the ant, because it's an ant. Uh. Twin prong strike adder would be pretty good. Yeah, but it's the, the poisonous strike river snapper. We have three pelts, or four pelts still, dude. There, uh, both would be good. We'll take the river snapper and the adder. Yeah, we still get one more. Because we let our creatures all get butchered by the traps, we got those pelts. Uh. Man, I'm gonna take the porcupine. Take yeah, the porcupine. yeah, I guess. I guess porcupine works. Yeah. Corpse map gets to make bees. Oh, hey, we can literally just hit the end turn button. Yeah. Well, might as well put uh, something out with a more damage to it. So long as we have something that does more damage than one, we gain damage. Overkill. 
And I don't think we have anything that has base over one right now. Yeah, so we so just, yeah, just hold, hold and hit enter. It was an amazing hand that we didn't even get to use because we were too powerful. Yeah, car or hand size tentacles is just really good. It's very good, yes. And we got our continue back because we didn't lose. What will we get? Pack rat. Yeah. Out of those pack rat. ones, pack rat. Pack rat. All right, and the, the angler is our last of the three bosses. Yeah. Pretty happy uh, with th that boss order. Th this could be a pretty fun stream game as well later on, if anybody would like us to do that occasionally. Uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah, well, that and you never played the campaign. I played through the campaign with you. Did oh, we can look at our thing. We can look at our deck and figure it out again. We have so many teeth, but since the trapper and trader are already defeated, I don't think we're going to... Ooh, there's a mycologist. Not that it matters, because we only have ant queen dupes, and, like, that's not a good one to do that with. I think we take Den into item. Did we even use any of our items? Mm, uh, I think we... We have one item available. To grab. Yeah, but I just don't think we need to remove a card, though, so I'm not going to go that way. Yeah. All righty then. All right, three sigils, more power, six health. We have lots of sigil cards. We do. Most of our cards have abilities. Oh, hard carried by the two sigil ant queen. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, what, what is this? Made of stone. Is immune to effects such as touch of death and stinky. Double black strike. Black goat, though. The, the black goat. Oh my god. The pack. The pack rat black goat. What's the other ability it's got there? Burrower, but it doesn't really matter because black. Yeah, that goat doesn't just, matter. You know, but it's, it'll it's just item, be stacked. It's an item goat, though. That's so good. Yeah, go for black goat. Hopefully we can get a good uh, item. Squirrel! Yeah, squirrel. Squirrel in a bottle. It's always useful. Always useful. Always, always, always. I still love that the bees have bees in them. Mantis is going to strike to the left and right, so we'll hit the bees. And then we just wait. Yeah. Look out, Leshy's learning. He's bringing out the ants now. But he doesn't have bees that make bees. What a fool. What an absolute buffoon. The question is, well, no, I know sacrificing for blood doesn't make the bee. It has to actually be hit. Mm-hmm. Which Still dual no... strike ant queen. Yeah, I, I think we just sack the bee for that. And yeah. then we let the mantis hit the ant queen for one damage to give us a bee. Yeah. No bee lost. Yeah, net amount of bees in our possession is the same. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of bees. Oh my gosh, the, the, these bees also have the dual strike. That's nuts. Oh, that's not fair. No, it's really absurdly unfair. Like, it's not even a little bit fair. Ugh. Oh, the ants full of bees are so good. <laughs> so many bees. <laughs> I really do think that bees that make bees is just an infinite. It's infinite bees. We have to hit mycologist to upgrade the uh, 
the queen? No, no. I think we prefer having two queens. Also, this was added after the last time I played. I don't know what it does. Fair enough. We might as well see what it does. Will we buy pelts? Well, no. But then again, if we don't buy pelts, what is even the point of having all of this money? We might as well buy golden pelt. And another golden pelt. We can afford two. He says. Oh no. I thought I tossed this bottle in the river. What shall I paint for you? I don't know how this works. Uh, I think we choose a card and then it makes a worse copy of the card. Oh. The infinite money glitch. Yes, but we could have know, two black thinking. goats. Yeah, I was thinking we either paint over the black goat or we paint over, like, one of the B cards. Not queen ant, because it's more expensive, but, like, paint over the flying ant, maybe? Yeah, well, just, might as well see what happens with well, the flying ant. Well, how can they even make it worse than this? Take away the flying? Well, it's just a work. How ant. bad could it possibly be? It's just another flying ant. Yeah, it's it's literally just like our card. You did such a good job. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit gross looking. No, he did he did he did perfect. I'm so proud of him. Oh no. Oh no. He's learning. He's learning. The squirrel and the, the flying ant. And put that on the beehive space, then we never hit the beehive, so then it's just the flying ant is protected. Yeah. It is going to suck to take that three damage from the rattlesnake, but... I have no idea what you're talking about. What, what rattlesnake? Fair enough. There is, there is no rattlesnake in bossing, say. Uh-huh. Never mind, he had another one. This is, this is starting to feel a little ridiculous. Uh, you're gonna have to skunk onto one of the, uh, rattle, or one of the adders. But won't the touch of death still make it die? If it has zero damage, I don't know if he can attack. Also, if we don't put this here, won't this hit for three? True, we might as well. This is a load of barnacles! Okay. Sack skunk for... No. No, I uh, think we just lose. Yeah. He simply just spammed the field full of cards. What a Not cheater. Not much we could do there. It just means we don't get the smoke. That, uh, that is unfortunate. We need items. We need a item at least. Double blood, why not? I'll take another magpie. We didn't have a magpie. I'll take a magpie. Alright. Ooh. That's pretty good. Your turn? That's pretty good. My turn. <laughs> Oh no, he's got the bug totem! <laughs> he knows! I, I think he- I think he- he knows what we're up to. Squirrel sack for flying in. I think that's the best thing we can do, yeah. 
and then allow and then put beehive in the place of flying ant so that flying ant can take some damage and then give us bees. We don't have a beehive. Sorry, corpse maggots. Because flying, because corpse maggots will then sub in for flying ant, and we'll get extra bees. Where are we putting flying ant? Uh, turtle. Right, I see what you're saying. Turtle, so flying ant gets hit, and then corpse maggots jump in. And we just get more bees. Well, that's not very usable, is it? No. This is gonna suck real bad, though, so... I mean... There's not a yeah. lot we can do. Just gotta block with the bee. Oh, we, we dead. Well, uh... GG everybody. Uh, GG guys. That that's that's the episode. That is that is how it runs. Uh, this is more just a test run. Sorry if the uh, commentary yeah. wasn't super great there. Hey, hang on. Uh, what do but... you mean I make ten misplays in a single Casey's mod run achievement? Thirteen misplays. What the heck you mean misplays? Huh? How's the game gonna track when I make the wrong decision? Unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, Through this, yeah. I'm gonna go play Minecraft. If if you guys want to see more of it, or like in the capacity of maybe a stream game, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Engagement in the comments is good for the for the channel and boost us in the algorithm. Anyways, bye guys. See ya.